It's one month and one day since Hurricane Ian. And our boat has been undergoing a refit for almost an entire year. It's out of the water, it's on stands in Port Charlotte, and the eye of the hurricane went right through the boatyard. Right through it. Today, we're on a hike with our two dogs in Starbucks State Park in Northern Illinois. Come with us. This is Pike. 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 Come here. Hey, buddy. Hey. And Spock. Spock. Hi. Hi. This is Kirsten. Hey. If you've been watching our videos recently, you know that we took a break from the boat refit to take my mom on a delayed birthday trip to Paris. Thanks for watching those. What you haven't seen yet is that right after Paris, we went back down to the boat to continue the refit and my parents followed us down there. So that trip ended on September 24th and at the time, there was a little bit of talk of kind of these scattered storms deep in the Caribbean, but no one in the boatyard was really that concerned about it. Little did we know that just a few days later, those storms would organize into a full-fledged hurricane that would then strengthen into a Cat 4 that ran right into our boat. Not great. Thankfully, we were back home in Chicago safe and sound but our boat, unfortunately, was not. We found out a few days after the storm that Magic Dragon had actually been blown off its stands. You see this? He found a stick. So thankfully for us, some of our good friends that were also in the boatyard were able to go see Magic Dragon just a couple days after the hurricane. And initial reports are that there was no major damage. The worst of it was there was standing water in the hull, which they graciously pumped out for us. The running rigging was kind of shredded. And then the kitchen cabinetry, the galley cabinetry, took quite a bit of damage because a freezer fell from one side of the boat to the other. <clears throat> Hopefully, that's it. We'll find out. Person just got smashed in the hand with a stick from Pike. Woo, she's gonna feel that one tomorrow. Uh, yeah. So unfortunately, we haven't been able to get back down to the boat yard since the hurricane. The boat yard was able to procure two cranes right away to start putting the boats back up on their stands. So that's what they've been doing ever since. Understandably, the boat yard has been closed while they do that, though. So that brings us to today. And we just got word that, thankfully and successfully, Magic Dragon was put back up on her stance. We got some pictures of the side of the boat where she fell. No big cracks or punctures, which is all great news. And all that means that the refit is back on very soon. Now, we did take some footage of the time that we were down at the boat before the hurricane struck. We kind of thought back and forth about whether or not we'd show you that, and we decided we're going to. So that means our channel is gonna be a few weeks behind real time, but that's okay. And that's kind of all we have for the update and our hike today. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, hit the subscribe button. Thanks, we'll see you later.
This is what happens at the end of the long walks and hikes. Fox gets carried. He's 12. He's an old man. Yep. With our two dogs in Starbuck State Park in Northern. Northern. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a rock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is very tricky. Maybe you won't get from the other side. <laughs>